Now let's talk about non-void functions. And non-void functions return something other than none. Also, they may or may not have side effects. We've seen various non-void functions. For example, the int function returns something. And let's assign to the identifier i whatever int returns when it's given a string argument of 42. Now when we hit return, we don't see any output. There were no side effects. But the int function returned something. It returned a value, and that was assigned to i. And let's check that out now. Let's say print function, show us what i is. And it is 42. We've also discussed the input function. And the input function does have side effects. It prints the prompt, and it obtains input from the keyboard. But then it returns that. So it's doing some stuff on the side, but then it also has a return value. So we might say that s is equal to input, and let's give a prompt of enter something. And hitting return, we get that prompt, let's say, 42. And now when we print s, we see 42, which is the output of that string. Now, something you should keep in mind is that the empty string is different from none, and the string none is different from the keyword none. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to recall that assignment statement. And hitting return, we see the prompt again. And this time, I'll just hit return. Now, what is s? Oh, it's an empty string. If I check its type, I don't see none type. I see it's a string. I'll recall that statement one more time. Hit return. We get the prompt. And now I'll enter none. Idle is highlighting this, but it's a little bit confused here. This is actually user input at this point. It's not code that we're writing. That's not truly the key word at this point. So if I say, what is s now? It's the string none, if we say. What's the type of s? We again see that it's a string. The input function always returns a string. So there's nothing the user could enter that would cause s to become none, the keyword none. And with that bit of background, let's turn our attention to creating our own functions. And we'll start to explore that in the next video.